this doesn't give us a whole lot of confidence in this process. A pool of blood on the tray already. <laughs> adopt a child from China, I don't know what it's like from other countries, you have to do something called a post-adoption report. They used to require like one at one month home, one at two months home, one at six months home, one a year. Now I think it's just one month, one year, and two years. So we're at one year and um, <clears throat> we're doing the report today. So we're gonna do it by Skype. Luckily, I don't think they've ever crossed this um, before where we don't have, you know, somebody's living in an RV. So we're gonna do it by Skype, which is pretty cool of them, and yeah. So these things are about them making sure that the child is safe and well cared for, that their needs are being met, and I think also to make sure that the families aren't in over their heads or um, struggling. So <clears throat> yeah, so gotta brush my teeth and put in my contacts, and we can do this thing. I think we have like 10 minutes. Dad's here to put the vacuum up. Vacuum. Vacuum the. Because they'll probably want to see the a, trailer. Well, there was also a pile of sand on the couch from after short. Oh. You wore those dunes. Peter, 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 Okay, you gotta be dressed. Do you have pants on? Any of them? No. Okay, get some pants on. <laughs> okay, how does the bedroom look back there? Is it clean? Hey, Andrew, you who are making. My bed is amazing. Just, yeah, that's fine. Just make it smoothie. Wait. Or what cup are you gonna put it in? Um, the watch is going to be done in a minute. Okay. I don't. I don't. Now look. So the, the post adoption reports for Daniel, who right now is looking up how to make what? Huh? Last stuff. Daniel, food. Daniel wants to be a chef when he grows up. Hey, Peter, can you get your clothes on, please? Pearl, you need to get dressed too. What, Jude? Oh. We need to wipe your face off because you have smoothie on it. Mama, We're just now waiting for the Mama, call. What are you doing, Esther? Um, there's an ad. I'm not watching it. I can't. Mama! Oh, you want an orange? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you can't throw it away, though. We're working on her. What, well, you're, well, he's watching. Um, Daniel wants to be a chef when he grows up. And so he's watching some videos on food and how to make things and we're doing the post adoption visit right now. So, yep. Yeah, I remember reading in the uh, last report that uh, you like to cook, Daniel, and um, you like to eat too. Yeah. Yeah. You enjoy good food, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Still eating well? Yep. Yep. Okay, good, good. All right. Um, I just wanted to see you go back to what you were doing. I know okay. you have some Busy doing some things and watching TV and whatnot. So I just wanted to say hi. Okay. Bye. Um, okay. Bye. Yeah, a lot of our schooling is online and it's child led. So since Daniel's interested in cooking, um, like I, I saw he was watching some, well, there's a lot of great resources online. So he's watching some videos on Look, cooking and things. That's awesome. Mm. Okay. Um, Elijah and I are headed to the doctor or to the diet the podiatrist, which I guess is also a doctor, um, because he has an ingrown toenail issue. We actually went to a doctor a couple months ago and to just like an urgent care type place and they said, oh, just take care of the infection and then the, the toe should fix itself, I guess. But that didn't end up happening, so. Well, the toe fixed itself, but the infection just got worse. Yeah, so which makes you think the toe actually, like, there's still a problem with yeah. the toenail. So, we made an appointment for a podiatrist here in uh, at Pismo Beach. So, we're going to go do that. Hopefully, this guy can get it taken care of. Yeah. Alright, so... Well, I... 
Okay, so I'll have you fill well, that out. Okay. And then you have the insurance where you just pay. Yeah, it. we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll submit it. All right. Um, All right. And then we do. So we have a family vlog little that little we do. Time. Is it okay for record? Back there with the doctor. For what? They do a we we just vlog. have like a family vlog on YouTube. Is it okay if we record while we're back there? Yeah, or? I don't want YouTube. No. Sorry. <laughs> you don't want us back there? Okay. <laughs> okay, I thought I'd check. All right, we'll get this. Yeah, no problem. Okay, we're gonna do this. The doctor won't let us record though, so he's not here yet, so we're kind of breaking the rules. Yeah. I guess some doctors are a little bit nervous about people recording when they do stuff. I'm but okay. I just got an awesome compliment. The nurse asked if I was Elijah's brother. So I'll take that. It means I look like a. I guess you're young. But I'm going to write that in my journal tonight. Mm -hmm. So I'll remember it. She probably thinks I'm in my like, late teens. She might think you're older. So maybe that's it. She thinks you're like 25. <laughs> 25. And that can make me like 52 and still be your brother, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're not going to get the procedure on on camera, so it'll be bloody. We'll just have to check in when we're done, unless I can convince the doctor before he starts. But you know, we'll see. Yeah, no, I'll just I'll sweet talk him. We'll see. I hear something walking. This doesn't give us a whole lot of confidence in this process. A pool of blood on the tray already. <laughs> I'm just nervous. Okay, we convince the doctor to at least tell us what he's going to do before he does it, so we'll go with that. I'll, I'll draw it over here again. Okay, okay. so what are we gonna do? Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, I'm Dr. Norman. Dr. Norman right. here is helping us so out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, gonna draw, just basically here, draw his toenail. I uh, hear. About as big as his toe too, so that's good. So we'll <laughs> numb him up, and, we'll, and he's got an ingrown toenail on this side, so we'll take the nail out in this corner right here, and remove that. It takes about a year for that to grow back, but first we got to numb oh, them up and, and take that out. Uh, no, we have to soak um, and and care for it afterwards, but we'll give them all the instructions. But okay. that's basically it. Sweet, thanks. Yeah. Okay, Elijah's all numbed up now. We're getting numbed up. They poked his toe a few times. I can't feel this right now, except I can feel like the vibrations back here, but I can't, I can't feel any of that. Pretty weird, huh? Yeah. That's Elijah's big, gross toe. They're gonna cut down the side of. Oh yeah, here explained it, but and we were wrong. That's actually not blood over there. It's um, I don't know what it's. I can't. What do you call it? Uh, it's like ant. Uh, Something that like cleans it, yeah. cleans your off the skin to keep it from getting um, infected. So it's not blood. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait for it to numb. Get numb. I mean, then, it already is pretty numb. And then you can really go to town on your toe. Yep, slicing and dice. That's right, man. He said there should be a lot of blood. Right, not he said it would squirt on the walls and stuff, so... You know, too bad I can't record that. That'd be cool to see that. Yeah, it would. We'll have to just record the aftermath. Okay. Okay, anyways, I was telling the doctor about my ingrown toenails from my high school days. And he was like, fascinating. Didn't even try to hide that he didn't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I guess you probably hear this kind of stuff all the time. He's like, yeah, I do. So it's not always that interesting to me. So thank you. There it is. Can't feel my toe. Okay, my Good. How are you feeling? Good. I feel off balance. I'm not used to not feeling. Tell me, his toe up. feels weird. <laughs> he can't feel his toe, nope. so it's like this appendage that's there but isn't there. Yeah. So, but we're done. Dr. Norman did a good job. He didn't want us, oh wait, I gotta go this way. <laughs> he didn't want us to record, but he was still nice and he did a good job. It was pretty quick. No pain, right, Elijah? Nope. Numbed it real well. I got to watch it. You got to watch, go. which was awesome. So, all in all, I think we've done, we've had a successful visit to the podiatrist. Um, as long as it continues to heal and he's okay, it's all over, so. That's it. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Actually, now we're Elijah and I are going to head to Walmart. He what he has to do now is he's got to soak his toe. This guy going. 
Yeah. He's got to soak his toe um, a couple times a day in some Epsom salts. We need more of those. Oh, we need more Epsom salts too. Yeah. Um, so we got to go there and get something we can foot his fit his foot into. Fit his foot. Foot his fit. Because Elijah has a huge foot. Yep. Only one huge foot. The other foot isn't that big. <laughs> um, no, we need something that he can. Yeah, put his foot in more easily. Size 14. Is really yeah, he's big. got a 14, size 14 foot, feet. So, that makes it hard to fit into stuff. So we're gonna go to Walmart, get that, get some Epsom salts, and then, and then we'll go home. So we're not quite done with this trip yet. Okay. Is that too big? We're not sure. I don't think that's big enough for your foot. I think we might need this one right here. <laughs> no, um... We need something kind of small and shallow. Which is kind of like myself. <laughs> small and shallow. Right, this? Oh, that might work. And then we can shut your foot in there when you're done. Yeah. Here. Let's see if you're... Well, the problem is, is that it, the sides aren't high enough. It'll it'll overflow. Okay. Yeah, I do. There's this one. Oh, that looks awesome. Let's do that one. Do you need a lid? No. You sure? Pretty sure. Okay. We just got busted for recording in Walmart. Apparently, it's against Walmart's rules. I didn't know that. So, future reference. Camera. She just have like those Can't record cameras. in Walmart unless you want to have security call on you, which is what we had. <laughs> they were nice, but they told us we had to stop recording. Yeah. Whatever. Since Elijah was a big boy at the doctor and didn't cry <laughs> or cause any problems. I normally do. I like punch the doctor. Usually he throws bits and faint when I see blood. Really bad. But he was a big boy, so we're gonna get we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get milkshakes. Four ninety seven at that first window. Thank you. Thank you. In and out sure, burger. So hi, how are you doing today? Great. Okay, four ninety seven. Two chocolate shakes. Four ninety seven. Okay. Here you go. Three ninety seven. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. So that's gonna be it for you. Thanks, Spencer. Have a good one. Yep. Oh. Kind of small. <laughs> that's the only size they have, though. Really? Okay, I want to know why some of these most fast food places haven't figured out the whole thing with their straws and milkshakes. I'm, I have this milkshake from in and out and it's like impossible to get the milkshake up this dang straw. But there's those big straws, those like big thick straws, have you ever seen those? Yeah. And it makes it so much easier to drink your milkshake. Why, why have most of these people once I was at McDonald's. Figure that out. Once I was at, at a McDonald's. I mean, it makes me so those, angry. As the soda straws. What's that? They had the big straws for soda. Oh, so you can like even yeah. consume soda at a greater rate. <laughs> Anyways, just a little pet peeve and not really a problem because, you know, there's worse things in the world that can happen. But, yes, bro, yes, bro, bro. but if I'm going to have a milkshake, I want to be able to like, whoa, that's sun's really bright. I want to be able to like drink it fast. I want to get it in my body as quickly as possible. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, if anyone from In-N-Out or any other fast food places is watching this, your consumers want you to get the bigger straws. Okay? There you have it.